Oh, another one of those crazy Tom Brady comebacks. And let me tell you, I was at the game. I'm here in Tempe, Arizona right now and just got back to the hotel from the game. And uh, yeah, it was a typical Buccaneers 2022 uh, type of game where we look incompetent, let the other team take the lead and then try for the comeback and we got it. But before I get into my reaction, I am Robbie B. If you are new here, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. I post weekly Buccaneer videos. And yeah, let me tell you, that game is was was really good. So prior to this game, I was 0-3 at Bucks games. I went to Jameis' first game. I went to that Thursday night football game against Atlanta the year they went to the Super Bowl where they blew us out at home. And then I was in Jameis' last game in Tampa. So all three games were in Tampa, all three losses. And this game was looking like it was going to be a loss. But we somehow pulled it off. Um... Very different watching it in person than on TV. Um, you could see literally this offense does not want to take any shots beyond five, six, seven yards. Um, pretty much everything that we've seen on TV, but it looks even worse in person. And yeah, our, our offense is very slow. We don't have any speed. Uh, Leonard Fournette, he had that big run or the big uh, reception that led to, I want to say it led to our touchdown that kind of started to come back and literally he looked so slow and if he had any ounce of speed that would have been that would have been a touchdown he would have taken it but yeah the offense looks very slow our offensive line is struggling those picks to Mike Evans were horrible by Brady it wasn't a good Brady game at all but again in typical Brady fashion when the game is on the line he's able to put it together and get us that win um, Greg Amon tweeted that prior to that final couple of drives to essentially lead the comeback Brady was like two picks a hundred 18 yards, some crazy, some crazy number. And then on those those final two or three drives, at least in overtime, he had like 70 yards and um, six for six or something like that. But yeah, the two interceptions I wanna talk about. So the first one um, happened right in front of me where I was sitting and Tom Brady got hit as he threw it. Evans was kind of running a, to the corner uh, right, right before the end zone, I wanna say it was. And Brady just had to throw it kind of to the outside, got hit, threw it on the inside, kind of just, you know, shot it, threw it up in the air and Evans didn't see it at all. Um, the second pick, I read it literally from the snap. I was like, he's gonna go to Evans. Um, Evans had his corner beat. Brady just had to throw it over the top. Instead, Brady threw it shorter, I guess, in front of Evans and it was picked off. So those two were very bad. And, and I'm glad that they got Evans involved in the overtime he had. I wanna say it was two catches in overtime. I don't know how many yards he got total. I didn't look up any of the stats, but um, I know prior to today, he needed like 112 yards to, to reach 1,000. And I wanna say he got at least 30, 40 of that. So it's getting close, but um, yeah, defensively we played well as always. McSorley also, I think that's his name, McSorley. He's not good at all, as you probably saw from the game. He's overthrowing people, throwing out of bounds. Um, they did have a shot to kind of pull it off in overtime or at the end of the game, but uh, they didn't. Our defense held on. Timely uh, turnovers. We had that turnover uh, that led to the comeback essentially in the fourth quarter as well. Uh, so the defense played their asses off. And um, yeah, I want to say, oh yeah, Carlton Davis, that man has cannot catch to save his life. He had that pick. It went right into his belly and he dropped it. And I swear if, if, if he could catch even 30% of the balls he gets his hands on, like the ones that are like clear picks, this defense would be completely different and we'd look very different, but he literally cannot catch anything to save his life. And it, it's, it's frustrating to watch, but don't wanna to complain too much. Again, it was, a, it was a good game to be at. It was definitely stressful when we were down 16-6 with like 10 minutes left in the game. But uh, we got that, I think it was the fumble was at that point. I don't remember exactly when the fumble was. The fumble might've been on the second drive when they were driving down to extend that lead. But um, yeah, Leonard Fournette had that big catch and the big reception and, and yards after catch and uh, ended up, you know, got down and scored. Again, our offensive line with very untimely uh, penalties. They hurt us in the third quarter. We drove down and scored. The Julio had that, I want to say it was like a 10 yard touchdown, uh, got taken off the board. There's still a lot of things to clean up. Um, offensive play calling is horrendous. Todd Bowles doesn't challenge when he, he should. Um, I want to say it was that before they scored their touchdown, they did a QB sneak and it didn't look like he got it, but of course Todd Bowles, you know. But anyways, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying or what to say, but it was a great game overall. We ended up pulling out the W1916. Um, next week we are home against the Panthers. If we beat the Panthers, from what I what I read, we clinched the division. However, the Panthers already whooped us 21-3. This, this weekend they beat the Lions, who are arguably one of the hottest teams, if not the hottest team of the in, of the NFL right now, ran, what, 320 yards on Some crazy, 360 yards on them. Some crazy, ridiculous number. And the way our rush defense has been this season has not been good. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be definitely a tough game at home. If we lose that game, I think we still have a shot at winning. Um, 
because we'll still be if they win that they'll have the tiebreaker over us and we'll be tied we'd have to beat carolina and they would have to lose so the, the division is not out of reach however if we just win next week against the panthers it essentially clinches a division for us and then we can kind of focus on the playoffs so we'll see what happens there but yeah bucks nation thank you for tuning in comment down below what did you think of this game i'm sure i already know what you're gonna say but yeah comment it down below and thank you for tuning in and as always i am out let's go Game winner right here.